Hello everyone and welcome back to another snail mail episode! So yesterday we started diving into this week's snail mail and there was so much of it that I had to break it into two parts again. So this is part two! And if you guys want to see all of the amazing things, including some beautiful artwork and some amazing creative ideas for what we can probably do in zoo crafting in the future, then make sure you check out yesterday's episode and we're going to continue on with the awesomeness with everything that you guys have sent in here too. And also just to let you guys know, because I always get this question every episode, how do you send snail mail in you look in the video description and you can see the address to currently send things to and make sure that it is the current address so if it is after July 2016 then I have moved yet again <laughs> and there will be a new PO box and you can go into the main channel page look in our community news playlist and there will be the updated video for whether or not we have a PO box and what the current address is if we do so just make sure of all those things especially if you're international because if you send something and then I move and it like gets through customs into the PO box after we move I'm gonna be gone and I don't want that to happen to your guys stuff so just make sure the timing is right and let's dive on in because this is really fun <laughs> It's like Christmas every time. It's like Christmas, my birthday, all of these amazing surprise treats all in one. And then this is from Samantha of New York. And there's actually, oh, ears are awesome. And there's a cat and a flower on the front. That is so cool. All right, so let's dive in. Please share on camera. Thank you for your note. That lets me know it's okay. And we're going to see what we have here. So what do we have wrapped up in here? I think we have a Warriors fan. That's what I think. And we've got a letter. <gasps> Oh wow! Roar some more! Look at this! Look at the lion! Look at that coloring! I love it! I love all of the color! Oh my gosh! And then here's Misty, one of my cats. She had surgery on her ear, so a female. Look at that. We've had so many people send in pictures of their cats lately. It's really fun. I love seeing all of the cats. Yesterday we had somebody who's named their shed cat Moss Leaf, which really was pretty cool. I think that was Nico. And then let's see. Olaf, one of my cats. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Very cool. All right, so thank you so much. So these are the awesome drawings that got sent in. And that's from Samantha in New York. So thank you so much for sharing this, Samantha. You're a very good drawer of cats. I hope that you are enjoying your time with Olaf and Misty. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I hope you enjoy our Warrior Cat series. And I can't help but feel this might be Lion Star, maybe just a cool lion. We need to get some lions added into our zoo crafting safari zone. That is definitely something we need to do. And then there is another cat. This is Wild Kit. All right, so this is from Florida. So here's Wild Kit popping over from Florida. And then here's Lover of Moss Clan, Heart Animals. A panda! Oh, one of our puppies! Look at all of that! Oh, all right, so let's see what this one says. And we'll see who it's from. I'm going to open it up really carefully so I don't mess up your awesome artwork. And then, careful, careful. There we go. All right, all right, all right. We've got this. And then, oh, I see oh, giraffes! I see giraffes! <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, there's a letter, and I have to read the letter, but happy late birthday and Earth Day. And look, it's giraffes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at that. And then South Kit, Calico Cat, like Wild Kit. Oh, that's so cute. Very nice. That's a nice tail, too. I should see if I could do a tail like that in our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series, because that's a very pretty tail. All right, and let's see who this is from. So we have a letter right here. Dear Siri, you can read on camera. I really love your Warrior Cat series. I'm sorry about my sloppy handwriting. I'm just so happy. I have sent you fan mail before. I was so happy you liked it. Uh, you tough, uh, you tough me lots, taught, taught me lots of things, especially in Zoo Tycoon. Right now in school, we are learning about animals, and I tell my teacher all these facts, and I say, Siri, the pixel biologist taught me. From Tanya. Oh, thank you, Tanya. BPS, please say... <laughs> Please name a kit South Kit. I love Wolf Quest. Oh, thank you so much, Tanya. I'm so excited that you are learning so many things about animals. It truly is just following your own curiosity and looking anything up. You have the power of the internet, my friend, which is something I really wish was bigger when I was your guys' age because then there's no limit to what you could learn about animals right now. And I think that's really amazing. And I wanna share some really cool facts with you in the future too. And then what do we have here? Oh, it's Quill Eye! Oh, Quill Eye and Wild Kit! Look at that! So cute! Oh my goodness! And then Moss Leaf! The swiggles are moss leaves and markings. Oh, it's a moss leaf! 
Look at that. I love hearing what clan is your guys' favorite clan, and I think you guys are really going to be excited when we start working on our clan cats more. There's going to be a lot more clans in the future, a lot more cats, a lot more drama. Very exciting. And then what do we have here? South kit. Supposed to be orange. My crayon broke. Found my crayon. Oh, that's so cute. So this is South Kit right here, one of the original characters. Dear Siri, I think you're really nice and all of your series are great. Yes, I know, uh, I, do, 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 do. yes, I know, I know my slime is ugly, but, but mostly shy and sweet. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a flower slime. I see what's going on here now. Oh my gosh, that's a cute flower slime. I love it. There's so many different varieties of flower slimes you guys have made and they're so fun. So personality, mostly shy, but sweet. Habitat is woods in the forest. Age range, 30 slime years. Not nocturnal. Diet, berries, such as fruits. Attack, shoots out flower, stink pots. P.S. Uh, uh, when gets mad, might eat other slimes. That's so cute. Look at that, you guys. That's an adorable slime. Thank you so much, Tanya. You have some amazing art skills, and I'm glad you found your crayons, and I'm really excited to share more of the adventures with the Warrior Cats clans in the future with you. Oh my goodness. That's so much fun, and I love the slimes. I really need to make the slimes, too. There's so many cool adventures I want to do. I just need, I need like five of me to do everything. Oh my gosh. All right. And then we have a letter from Oklahoma. Oh, and there's so many animals. So many animal stickers. Red pandas everywhere. That's so cute. All right, let's crack you open and let's see what's inside. I'm going to open it really carefully so I don't rip all the animal stickers apart. There's even giraffes. There's a little giraffe animal sticker. Oh, that's adorable. All right, and there's red pandas. Yeah, Trips is gonna like the red pandas because he is a big fan of red pandas. And let's open this very carefully so that I don't accidentally rump up against anything. There we go, there we go, there we go. And, da -da -da. and then let's go ahead and slide this out. Oh, what do we have over here? Hmm? Hmm? All right, there's some things in here. All right, let's see. A seashell I got from England. It may have escaped. Don't worry. I will search in. I will see if I can find the seashell. It might have fallen out on my table when I put it down. So don't panic. Alexis? Yes, Alexis. Dear Siri, hello, my name is Alexis, and I've been watching your video for about your videos for about a year now. I've sent some snail mail in before, and I wanted to send you in some more. If you saw the other page, you will have seen the horse, horse slime. What? I love horses, and I have six horses, so I thought it would be a good idea for horse slime. Also, could you please, please, please bring back Jurassic World the game? I loved it. Well, thanks for taking the time to read this letter, and hopefully I will send you more snail mail. Well, bye. <laughs> and then there's Briar Horse Forever and Maggie the Cat as your YouTube channels, and the horse slime. You guys, look at that. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> oh my goodness. It has the cutest little like horseshoe port. That is really creative. That is using your imagination very well, Alexis. That is so cool. The horse slime is an energetic slime and loves to run around anywhere it can get. It loves ranchers and loves to give them piggyback rides. Favorite food, the slime carrot. Nay, food. And then the carrot's saying, oh no, that's adorable. A horse slime. I would not have thought of a horse slime. And I don't know why, because it makes a lot of sense. People love horses. And then there would actually be a slime you could ride around in Slime Rancher. And then Lunala's page. Everyone hates me, but I will still go on from Lunala. And yes, don't worry, the story of Lunala has not ended. It's just going to be changing. So there's going to be more Lunala in the future. I'm pretty excited. She's going to have a chance to redeem herself. And then we have Lion Star and Moss Leaf. I love you, Lion Star. I love you too. And then poor Honeywish, who's heartbroken about such a thing. Honey wishes note. I will never I will never remember the day Lion Star broke my heart, but I will still die for him and will never give up. And then Trout Shadow. And then Trout Shadow! This is so cute! Trout Shadow going so many fish! Trout Shadow really loves being part of Branch Clan because Trout Shadow truly loves fish. So you guys are gonna really hopefully enjoy Trout Shadow's story coming up in the future. Oh my goodness, so thank you so much, Alexis. A horse slime, that is some brilliant strokes of creativity right there. And I will search for the uh, seashell. I probably have it on my table somewhere from when I brought all of the packages in. All right, and then what do we have right here? We have, oh, from, oh! Oh, okay, so this is from Wolf. I see, I see. All right, for a second there, and this one is from California as well. So this is from Wolf in California. And we're gonna go ahead and crack this open and see what's inside. 
All right, we've got some letters. Let's see. I'm gonna, as usual, I try to read the letter before looking at the art. Dear Siri, hi Siri, this is my first letter. So I have two papers inside the letter I hope you enjoy. I drew them with my friends, so it was not only me. I really hope you like them. Plus Siri, I have a question for you. It is a really easy question. Do you like anime? Sincerely, Wolf. And yes, Wolf, I do like anime. I watch anime very regularly. I'm actually watching Space Brothers on Crunchyroll right now, which is more of like a mature anime, very slow paced, but it's super relaxing to have on while I'm doing work in the background, or like have it in the background while I'm doing work. And it's really helping my ear get used to hearing Japanese again because I watch all of my anime uh, subtitled and I took four years of Japanese in high school and so it's really helping to kind of tune back into the language because Chips and I may one day be traveling to Japan for his work so that's gonna be really cool and he needs to be fluent in a second language and I think that or a third language actually he's already fluent in languages but he needs to be fluent in another language and so Japanese is one of the languages we're trying to learn again and yeah, so that's a long answer to yes, I do watch anime and why I watch anime and I love it. I just finished um, Beautiful Bones and I love Mushishi and I love Silver Spoon. I have broad interest when it comes to anime, but I watch lots of it. So yes, I do. All right, and maybe I'll talk about that more in the vlog channel because I have some favorites that people may not have heard of before. And then let us see what your artwork is. So artwork that was done with Wolf and a Friend. So we have oh, Wolf Quest. There we go. Love for Wolf Quest as usual. If I can figure out how to make wolves happen in Sims 3 too, so that then we can have the genetics and the legacies and different coat colors and see the generations go down, I will totally see if I can figure that out somehow. And then over here we've got, let's pop this open, and then we've got the wolf. So a beautiful wolf drawing from Wolf. Thank you so much, and this is going to be fun. Hopefully one day I'll be able to go and visit the um, wildlife sanctuaries where the red wolves are here in North Carolina, because I know that's something that a lot of you guys would really, really love, because the red wolves are, they're pretty endangered, and this is also covered in ladybugs. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So thank you so much, Wolf. I'm so glad you and your friends are enjoying and that you love wolves so much, and I really do like anime, so I'll probably end up talking about that like in the Q&A rambling series if you guys are interested in hearing more about that or on the vlog channel so there's a link to the vlog channel too if you guys want to check that out I talk about a lot of random stuff over there and a lot of pictures of flowers and my cute birds who are singing are over there too all right and this one is from Allison in New Jersey full of ladybugs oh that's so fun it makes me think of miraculous ladybug ladybugs are good luck you know all right and then I'm gonna open it very carefully <gasps> it's a little pink paper there's a little pink letter in here all right let's see what we have there we go and then, oh, oh, I see this, I see this. I'm going to tuck this right here. And then Siri, hi, I'm Siri, and Captain Kaz, look at that. That's so fun. Hi, Siri, my name is Allison. I would like to have an NPC. And then let me know, let's see, yep, yep, yep. And then, okay, oh, okay, I see. All right, so it's just a note about this. Good, Allison. Oh, there's some little hearts that she drew right here. And then, let's see, do, 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 do. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I can handle this. I'm going to keep it. I'm going, hmm, because I'm going to keep this secret. But yes, don't worry, Allison. I will take care of this. Thank you so much. And then let's see what we've got. We're down to the packages. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're moving into the packages right now. And let's see. There's Misty. Oh, there's Trout Shadow. There's Trout Shadow on the back, you guys. And then there's Misty Pond right here. And then there's small things inside, make sure nothing falls out. And this is from Utah, so South Jordan, Utah again. This is gonna be really fun. So let's go ahead and gently open this and see what's hiding inside, because there's a lot of stuff. It feels like it feels like there's quite a bit hiding in here. So I'm very curious about what's here. Oh, it's like a treasure hunt. It's like you're opening a treasure chest. All right, so let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, I'm gonna handle this very carefully. There we go, I'm gonna put this right here. There's a lot of little pictures. Oh my goodness, it's like I have my own little training cards for the cats. Hang on just a second, and I'm gonna scooch it around. There we go, so I can show you guys. It really is like I have my own little training cards for all my cats. Look, here's Moss Sleeve. So there's different pictures. Here's Briar Stalk, and they're all cut out like this, and here's Branch Star. 
Oh, this is so cool. I feel like I could lay them out when I plan the episodes and I could scooch them around as I am planning episodes and be like, okay, we're gonna move Otter Slip over here next to Branch Star. And here's Dawn Step and Night Frost. Oh, I need to find a way to like be able to show all of these. These are so cool. Look at all of these. Here is Silver Fang. Oh, Kit and Lizard Kid, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be awesome. This is so cool. Here's Squirrel Leap. Oh my gosh. Oh, and little Moon Kit. Look at tiny little Moon Kit. This truly feels like I could just lay them all out and come up with my plots and just kind of move them around like characters on a chessboard. All right, we have Quail Eye. And then here is Sea Whisper. And then we've got Doe Gaze right here. Crow Feather right here. Doing good, doing good. Lion Star, looking good. And then we have, oh, Bear Glow. Bear Glow is looking good and he has a little herb because he's a medicine cat. And then we have Fern Creek right here. Then we've also got Siri of these Slippery Fingers who just knocks everything all over the place as we have Honey Wish right here and Stone Kit and Wild Kit. These are adorable. These are so adorable. I love them. Oh my goodness. So let me see if I can find the letter that might go with this. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know how I'm always saying how I have to remember the state abbreviations? And I'm always like, I wonder which state that was from. I have a cheat sheet now. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool, thank you. Thank you, once upon a time, especially when I was in elementary school, I knew all of those because it was required. And this is definitely going to help so I can try to have a, a quick cheat sheet to remember which state is which. So thank you so much. You are somebody who is paying close attention to detail. <gasps> And here we go, here's the letter. All right. Dear Siri, this is my second time writing to you. The first time I wrote was the episode was in the episode, Gifts from the Birdmaster. Mine was the very last envelope you opened. I was so glad you loved everything in it. Like the Wolf Quest family tree, cow plant drawing, and the Zodiac no-tail drawing. I made some more drawings and I made a little game for you. The game is that I made you some drawings of animals and you have to guess. On the back of the paper with the animal drawings are their names and three facts. I hope you like the game. Oh, and late happy birthday. I was in Washington in a national park called Olympic National Park. Olympic was amazing. It was full of some of your favorite things. One, moss. Two, appetites. Three, mushrooms. And I'm so excited that you recognized all of those things in the park. I hear Washington's beautiful. Since you uh, share all of your adventures with us, I thought I would share some of my adventures when I was in the Olympic with you. There is a, uh, the way everything is sorted is, is by the hikes I went on. I also made you a little goodie basket slash wallet. It's full of fun little treasures that you will absolutely love. By the way, Cosmo is doing just fine. Keep up the great work, Candon. Candence. Oh my gosh. That's right. K Cadence. Cadence. That's right. Uh, think of the big sister from Phineas and Ferb just spelled with a K. Cadence. Oh my gosh. And there's a hibiscus drawn on here. Cadence. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is always like going on a little journey when somebody does it where it's like walking through what you have and all of the pictures and I'm just, I'm blown away by everything. Cadence, thank you so much. Moss Leaf and Lion Star. Krusty Geckos Forever! Hashtag Krusty Geckos Forever Cosmos! Cosmos! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so much fun! Honey Wish! Oh my goodness! Honey Wish was too late. Good for Moss Leaf though. You have to guess what animals are, what the animals are called. Branch, Star, and Dawn Step. Moss Leaf and Lion Star. Oh, Cadence. Oh my gosh. Candace, 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 Candace! <laughs> I know I've seen Phineas and Ferb. My cousins used to love watching that. Oh my goodness. I apologize. Trust me. When I go to family reunions, I get like everyone's name wrong and I say it completely incorrectly and it's so embarrassing. It's it's not just you. It's it's a me thing. Totally a me thing. And I am so excited. So let us very carefully go through her journey here. And then we have Luna. Luna is saying eat and then soul. So here's Luna and soul and they're eating right here. Oh my gosh. From Wolf Quest. And then right here, on an island empire, all oh, from Spore, when we dropped the bombs on them. You evil guys, we definitely need more bombs. And that was what, oh, that was so fun. Yeah, the on the island empire was an empire in our Spore series that just kept bugging us. And they just kept trying to destroy like our little colonies. So we finally just got a bunch of bombs and destroyed them because that's a more aggressive Spore playthrough than our peaceful one. So that is really, really cool to see. I love seeing Spore fan art. It's very rare. They're like diamonds in the rough. You never know when you're going to find them. And it's Rose Stone and Thistledown from our Star Stable Online series. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh wow. 
you guys look at this. Oh, look at this Wolf Quest drawing. Look at all the details of the wolves hidden all over the place. That's so beautiful. And the bear, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at everybody. You can see the little pups in the background. Glenn, there's a cow plant. I thought that was a cow plant. And I was like, no way, that can't be a cow plant. That's a cow plant. That is too cool. I need cow plants. I need cow plants in my life. And a Gullian Finch. Oh, what a beautiful collage drawing. Oh my gosh. I love all of the greenery, and it looks like we've got moss leaf even hiding over here. Oh, I love this. I love this. Oh, this is so cool. So here's some pictures. Mushrooms, moss, ferns. Oh my goodness. So this is set up for the pictures of what the hike was like. So let's go through the hike together then. And then, oh, and there's even information on the back. <clears throat> This was taken from Shishi Beach Trail. This is a mushroom appetite I found while hiking. The trail was horrible and muddy and I nearly lost my hiking boot. If you know, please tell me what kind of mushroom this is. And then this is um, what we had to cope with. Lots and lots and lots of mud. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I am not familiar with that specific type of mushroom, but it looks really awesome. I'm gonna have to learn. They're all so different, but uh, is it just a shelf mushroom? And then we've got a beautiful hike over here. This is so cool to be the person getting to see someone else's hiking adventure for a change. And then this was taken from the Moments in Time Trail. This was a beautiful trail filled with moss and mushrooms. It was by a lake called Crescent Lake. It was so fun and beautiful and I loved every moment. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, and then there's a waterfall. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I would love to see more waterfalls in real life. And then Maymere Falls. This was amazing and the hike was worth it. It was so beautiful and amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Look at all of that. One of these days, Chips and I are gonna have to pop over there and visit beautiful Washington and see what we can discover in the forest there. It reminds me a lot. I think Washington and North Carolina are the only two places in the United States that share temperate rainforest biomes, um, like temperate rainforest areas. And I say biomes because it's like a Minecraft thing, but they think that they're very similar in what you can find in the forest there. And here in North Carolina, these forests are nothing like I have ever seen anywhere else I've ever lived. I am really going to miss them. So maybe I'll have to pop over to Washington so that I can enjoy the, the memories. And then a hall of mosses. This was so beautiful and amazing, especially because there was so much moss. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, very, very wet um, temperate forest areas, temperate rainforest. That's what I'm trying to say is what you can find here in North Carolina in the Appalachian Mountains and also what you can find over in Washington. And I think that we were in very similar places then. And here is a beautiful view from Hurricane Ridge. It was a beautiful view and I could see all the way to Canada. Now that is cool. The day I am able to go and see all the way into Canada for the first time is gonna be really neat. Just to know you're looking in a whole nother country. And yet at the same time, it just looks like beautiful forest. That is so neat. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is so much fun to be like in the different perspective of seeing somebody else's adventures out in the world. And you guys, there's more amazing stuff. Look at this. We have got Moss Clan. We have got Slate. We have got Branch Clan over here. Look at everybody. Oh, this is so cool. There's Doge's up here. This is awesome. This is just amazing. I love the detail to this. This is going to be so exciting now that we have new kits in the Moss Clan and with the things that are going to be showing up in Branch Clan pretty soon. Oh my gosh. And then we have the Cats of Moss Clan. Absolutely beautifully done. Look at that. Very lovely. The Cats of Branch Clan. Also beautifully done. And yeah, the cats enjoy it while it lasts, you guys. You never know how long these cats are going to be here. You don't know how long they might be with us. You don't know how many new cats might be joining the clan or what might happen to the current cats of the clan. Because being a wild cat can be very dangerous. And I won't say anything more about what's going to be showing up. So, all right, let's see. Cats that just joined Star Clan. Fern Creek, maybe, please, please say it's not. Fern Creek, it wasn't your time. And then Otter Slips, two unnamed kits. She didn't even really name them. I wonder if she might find some closure if she uh, decides to name them. But that was so sad. We lost, like, the first kits of Branch Clan or, like of, that aren't um, Dawn Steps kits. So that was really sad. And here's Fern Creek. Oh, I love how she's become such a fan favorite. And then we've got, oh, wow. Wow, 
now I'm gonna save this to read. And sometimes I'll like save these fanfics you guys send in and read them on the vlog channel. So I'm gonna save this to read on the vlog channel. But this is a fanfic about Fern Creek's battle with the fox. That would be really fun actually to read the fanfics that you guys send in as special little bonuses. And then we're gonna have to see just what happens. So, oh, this is so cool. Oh, wow. This is really well done. Wow, and then you wrote all of this? I wish my handwriting was that neat. That is so neat. I'm gonna have to save this and I'll try reading it on the vlog channel sometime. And then what do we have here? This is a little animal, and I think this is where I have to guess what it is and then peek on the back. And I'm going to guess a sea slug of some kind. Oh, this is the blobfish, the blobfish. Facts, only about 100 left in the wild. Lives deep in the waters off the coast of Australia and Tasmania. Blobfish have no skeleton and no real muscles. I'm gonna have to add these into zoo crafting because blobfish would be really cool to learn about. I mean, it's just like, why would you be a blobfish? Like, how does that work? Is that really a successful model for an animal to sustain? I'm gonna have to research about blobfish. Oh, and it's a giraffe, and it says what kind of giraffe? I'm going to guess reticulated giraffe. Yes, reticulated giraffe. Facts, also known as the Somali giraffe. Uh, subspecies of giraffe native to Somalia. 18 feet tall and weigh between 2,400 and 4,250 pounds. So they can get really big. That is really cool. There's the reticulated giraffe, and there's also, I forgot the other name. <laughs> The mossy eye giraffe? I think it's the mossy eye giraffe. And they are subspecies, so even though they look the same to most people, there's significant differences and you don't really want to cross the subspecies, so you can keep the subspecies of giraffe healthy and their populations going. And then is this a wallaby? A wallaroo! Wallaroos are not as big as kangaroos, but larger than wallabies sometimes called the antelopine kangaroo. There are four subspecies of wallaroos. I didn't even know wallaroos existed, so I'm gonna have to look this up. This is gonna be really fun and something fun to add into our future like Australian exhibits that we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. And then this is the last picture. It's not a pika, is it? Is it a pika? Is it, what is it? A mountain beaver. <laughs> I feel like, Siri, get your animal game on. What are you doing? Found in British Columbia and the Olympic Mountains of Washington. Predators are bobcats, coyotes, cougars, golden eagles, and, golden eagles, and owls. Weigh about 500 to 900 grams. That is so cute. I didn't even know about mountain beavers. Like, I kind of have the name in my head. Wallaroos and mountain beavers. That was really good. That was really good because I'm gonna have to learn more. And then there's still a bit more from her, but I love that, the kind of unknown animals that are out there in the world that we could learn more about, that's really fun. All right, so then we have a little package here and there's a little letter attached to it. So I'm gonna open up the letter first. Oh, and it has the contents. Okay, I'm not gonna peek at the contents list. It's a beautiful contents list, all drawn out, but I'm gonna just kind of, this is this is it. I kind of cracked it open and I'm gonna peek at what's inside one at a time. I'm, I'm gonna reach in and just start pulling things out. <gasps> It's the mushroom! Oh my gosh, it's the mushroom! I am so excited! Oh my gosh, and then, do I, I think I sold all of the mushrooms that I make by hand, but I'm gonna have to compare it with the little mushrooms that I make. Oh, I've wanted this for so long. Oh, this makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, come here, little mushroom. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I know this feeling. Is this a rock? It's, oh wow, it's a really pretty rock. Oh my gosh, and I think we're gonna have the little list. The rock smoothed by the Provo River, found while camping. Oh, thank you. Oh, that is so cool. It even has history, and it's traveled so far. I don't think this little rock ever thought it would end up in North Carolina. That is so neat. Oh, okay, I'm gonna glance at the list as we go through. Mushroom gift, and then let's see, what's this? This, oh, it's a little pigman! Oh my gosh, look at him! He just has this little golden sword and everything. What a cute little golden sword. And the pigman gift. Oh, they're my favorites. They're my favorites. They're gonna be my buddies. They're gonna hang out over here and cheer me on while we're working on zoo crafting. And then let's see what else we have. Okay, this one's kind of, this one's, what is this? It's a pine cone! Wow, this one's really pale. 
I know that sounds weird, but this looks like really different from my pine cones. I have a whole bunch up here. I don't know what I did with all my pine cones. I have pine cones, like a lot of pine cones, <laughs> but they're somewhere up there. I'm gonna have to find where I've, I've hidden them. But yeah, so this one's actually a lot paler than the pine cones that you can find in the area around here. And that's really interesting to me. So as interesting as it may be to me, and as much as you guys may be going, Siri, really? Well, it's part of my passion for nature, but I actually have a lot of different pine cone specimens, and I should put them together, because I have one that's like this big, and I have one that's like this big, and I should line them up and just compare pine cones one day, so you might have a vlog about comparing pine cones, which, you know, just gotta be interested in the natural world, no matter what form it might come in. So that's so fun. So we have a pine cone from a pine tree, and then we've got, oh wow, this is pretty. We've got a beautiful rock right here. Look at that. This is a tiger eye found from who knows where. That's adorable. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. And then let's see, I think there's a couple more things. All right. And then we've got, let's see. The blue sandstone found while on a hike. Wow. You guys, look how pretty this is. It's got all sorts of little dots on it and it's got a super smooth surface. That's beautiful. And then we've got the Minecraft bunny. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have all of these. They're such little treasures. Thank you so much. <laughs> these are truly, really treasured gifts and I absolutely love them. And I keep promising you guys a like tour of my desk, but if you could see my desk, you can kind of see it over here. I put all of your guys' gifts onto my desk. I've got my hat from Katie right there, which fun fact I do put on now and then just, just for the kicks. And then I've got like Katie's artwork and I've got all of the like gifts that have been sent into me. All of the animals, my animal collection that is being steadily, slowly but steadily built up specifically by one person, Audrey. And then I got my like uh, the bird whistle. This one was from Europe. I mean everything. Okay, I'll have to do a desk tour in the future. But basically the point is I appreciate all of these little treasures so much. And they really do cheer me up and they make me so happy when I look through everything that I have collected over here. So thank you so much and they will be deeply loved. And I love your artwork. I love the beautiful pieces of the cats. That's going to be really fun. I feel like I'm going to lay them out and like move them around to see what the plots are going to be and just cross my fingers that my plots won't be destroyed by the random generators. I'm gonna very gently tuck everything to the side because we have a couple more packages still, but man, my heart, it's just like overflowing. This is just amazing. All right, so then we've got a couple more packages. And uh, deep breath. All right, so this is from Brooke and we've got some really cute drawings on here. Look at this, oh my goodness. And then there's a little cat. There's a little cat, I think that's a cat cat with a cloak on. I'm really curious about what this is about. So let's take a peek at what Brooke has sent to us because all of you guys are so amazing and the kindness and the creativity in our community just blows me away every day. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna gently open this up and let's see what's in here. Come on, gently, 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 gently. And okay, let's see what we've got very carefully. All right, there's something in here. It wasn't able to come out with the paper. So I'm gonna gently tug it out. I'm not gonna peek until I've got everything out. Whoops, okay, I might have to peek. I think I dropped something. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh my goodness, Brooke, what have you sent us? Okay, let's see. Oh, all right, very careful. I don't wanna lose anybody. All right, there we go. So, <gasps> it's the kids. It's Oak Kit and Lizard Kit. There we go, or there should be paws. Excuse me, Oak Paw and Lizard Paw playing together. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then there's a little cat. There's a little cat cutout figure. Oh my goodness. Look, it even has a little tail on the back. That is so cute. That is so amazingly cute. Oh my gosh. And then we've got, let's see right here. Now this is, oh, oh, it's a little envelope. It's a little like makeshift envelope. And I think it's got a whole bunch of pop-ups in it. Look at that. This is somebody, you, Brooke, are really good at the 3D concepts. Man, that reminds me of my brother. He is a really amazing artist too, and he's very good at the 3D concepts as well. This is so cool. Now I have like all of these different ways to like move the cats around and be like, okay, all right, okay, come over here. All right, this one looks like squirrel leap, probably. It is, they're like 3D versions. If you pop them out, they make like 3D versions of the cats. That is so neat. Oh my gosh, that's not a cat. Okay, hang on, this is a cat. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
<laughs> this is talent and skill and dedication right here. That is really cool. That is really cool. Oh my goodness, come hang out with my mushroom. Come hang out with my mushroom. So we've got all of the kitties. They're a little schmished, but I think with a little bit of prodding, I'll be able to pop them back out so that they can be cool cats. And then this is not a kitty. This is an amazing wolf. Look at this. Look at this Minecraft wolf. That's exciting. I've never had the Minecraft wolf in this size before. So he's going to come out, come hang out with these guys. He's going to keep guard over my mushrooms and my pigmen and my little bunny and my, my new cat, my little pop out cat. And then I accidentally dropped it again. And we're going to see what we have here. All right. Dear Siri, remember me? I'm Brooke. I know the birthday smell mill part one. My note is uh, uh, is on there. At my class, we have pets, a betta fish and guppy. All the grown-ups died, but we have many babies. We named the betta fish Steve Apple Velvet. That's a really cool name for a betta fish. We named, uh, let's see. Also, we had a snail that was named Big Bob. Big Bob had babies too. So many. Steve is still alive. I have suggestions. Maybe you could find a clover patch. Find the bunnies in the bushes. I find the the first uh i finished the first four warrior series in like one year oh and look at that that's so cute oh my goodness oh branch star doing his fishing that is so cool branch star is a very good fisher cat i really actually love branch clan because i love the fishing part of messing around with our cats but then we've also got oh look at this moss leaf beautiful that's what lion star is thinking and then honey wishes back here going not fair and then we've got the beautiful flowers and the beautiful trees that moss clan gets to enjoy very lovely i love it and then bear glow very low I think you guys are really going to appreciate his story as it unfolds. And then, oh yeah, this is when this is when Fern Creek just attacked Squirrely out of the blue over some food, and that was really that was not good. That was not good, but we have been taking care of things. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. So thank you so much, Brooke. I am so excited to see more mail from you, and it's always very thrilling to see your art. And I love the creativity behind this. This is so cool. I'm gonna have to play with the pop out cats, and I'm gonna make sure that this wonderful wolf is watching over all of my my little creatures all of my little treasures he's going to be my treasure guard he's my treasure guardian which is going to be really cute all right i'm going to carefully tuck this over here and we are down to the very last package you guys this is pretty amazing it is covered in paw prints it is from california and you can see all of the paw prints all of the flowers that's really fun we've had a lot of california mail today you guys are really you're on it over there and then let's see what we have hiding inside I already see some flowers, Ooh, and I caught something just as it started to slip out at me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see. I need to find the letter so I know who this is from. And then, oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I know how, who this is from. I know not, to, and there's a lot of cool stuff. You guys are really going to like this. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, puppy love. And I will read your letter privately. Thank you for letting me know to do that. And then we've got the dragonfly, you guys. Look at this. This is the dragonfly from Sims 4, which is really cool. And I love it because it's so big. It looks like a little dragon, which is really adorable. It's actually in our channel art, too, because I love it that much. I asked Eric when I commissioned him to do the channel art to please include the dragonfly in the channel art. And I'm very happy with it. And then we've got 2016 Moss Clan. And then it says Moss Leaf, mossy, outstanding, sneaky, so nice, lovable, engaging, adorable, and fluffy. That's really cool. That is so cool. Look at Moss Leaf. I can't believe she's a mom again. It's so amazing to watch as they grow. <gasps> and speaking of watching as they grow, here's Ossiei. Ossiei, it's you. Hey, where are you? He's in the nest box. <laughs> I'm going to show him like his awesome picture. I'll see I come out. He's busy talking to Persimmon. I can hear him talking to Persimmon right now. So if you guys are wondering where OCI, one of my beautiful Gouldian finches is gone, he and Persimmon are in their nest boxes. Oh, there you are, OCI. OCI, look. It's a picture of you. What do you think? 
he's checking it out that's pretty cute but he is in his breeding cage with persimmon and they're in their nest box so if you want to see what's been going on with the birds you can go to the vlog channel and there's a lot of bird seed diary updates and next week before we leave for our trip in a few days now actually just a couple days before we leave for our trip um to the beaches then i am going to actually be peeking in the nest box and see if we have any eggs how many i'm going to see if i can candle a couple of them and if they're viable or not so it's going to be really exciting so if you guys love my beautiful finches and this is gorgeous by the way look at that hibiscus the little eggs oh my gosh then be sure to check those out because you can see the finches as hopefully they add to the flock with more babies all right and then yes I will read that privately and then we've got some little presents over here too so I'm gonna slide these over here We've got an awesome little Siri bookmark. That is really gonna help me out. I'm gonna take that with me on my vacation, like stick it in. I also have like the uh, wolf or horse bookmark that I got a couple weeks ago, and I'm gonna take Foxcraft with me on vacation. So all of the things, you guys are being incorporated and being part of my life on the vacation, which is gonna be really fun. And then we've got the Tabby Slime. Look at the little Tabby Slime. That is so cute. And a beautiful heart. So we have a beautiful paper heart. You guys are really into the paper crafts today. This is amazing. And then we've got a Sims, a Mossy Sims. Oh, that would be perfect, a Mossy Sim Plum Bob. That would 100% be my Plum Bob, 100%. Dunk. <laughs> that is so cute, I love that idea. And Zinnias, they're one of my favorite flowers. I'll have to see if I have another pot I can stick these guys in. How quickly do you grow? I need you to grow quickly enough. Blooms in summer and fall. Uh, germination, germination rate, let's see, days to bloom, 70 to 75. So I'll have to see if I have enough days to see if I can get some zinnias up and going before we move, because I would love that. So I'll have to see if I can get those up and going. Oh my gosh, and we've got this beautiful seashell, look at this. It's really hard to see, but it's it has the metallic sheen that you have on the secondary layer of a lot of seashells showing through quite a bit, and it's very lovely. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Then we've got Siri the Pixel Biologist. Look at this. You guys are just so amazing. You really are. And we've got some beautiful pressed flowers right here. Look at those. Oh my gosh. And a lovely lion star, star drawing. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. You guys, thank you so much once again. It is always such a surreal experience to sit here and just be surrounded by your creativity and your kindness and your excitement. And I can promise you, I'm going to do everything I can to try to bring more adventures and to try to just continue to share our love and passion of the natural world together in the future. So thank you all so much. This has been amazing. I am I am just blown away as always that there is so much excitement and that there is so much joy and that you guys are able to get so much from our adventures together and they mean so much to you. Thank you guys so much for all of the, the letters, all of the kindness, all of just you guys watching. It, like even if you can't send anything in, that's fine. It's just knowing that our community is being built up and I hope you guys can just take the happiness and the excitement and the creativity and the imagination and just the passion that you get from our videos and be kind to yourselves and to other people and just explore the world and be curious about the world around you because it's transformed my life and as you guys can see it has put the seeds in to help so many other people have a wonderful day and to transform their lives as well so thank you guys so much i am so excited to share more of my adventures with you in the coming week you're going to see a lot of vlogs showing up adventure vlogs as i actually go on some adventures to the beach and i think it's going to be a lot of fun and i can't wait to share it with all of you guys and thank you once again for all of this and I hope you all are having a beautiful, wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.